you identify a problem, then you create a solution. It's simple to say it's not so easy to do, but some young people felt up to the challenge, taking their own personal experiences and using them to make the world a better place. For goodness sake, here's our Bill Anderson. Get together with your fellow peers, talk about the problem, and brainstorm possible solutions. As it relates to young people in today's society, we just can't seem to get it straight. Half the time we lecture them and tell them that it's time for them to step up and try to make society better. But then when they do or when they try, we often tell them, slow down and wait your turn. There's so many pill dispensers out Christopher was inspired by his uncle's cancer when he was younger. The amputation of his leg led to intense pain and largely addictive pain medication. Really the only thing stopping him from overdosing on the medication that was supposed to be there to help him was just like a single cap on the standard pill bottle on our product page. Now his uncle thankfully didn't become addicted, but his experience inspired PillBot, a secure case that will only administer medication when the doctor authorizes it by responding to a patient's text request. How many people are getting addicted? Not because they're like quote unquote drug addicts because they're on the street, but because they're normal people who are prescribed opioids. Ask uh, how many pills I need to dispense. The inventions coming out of young minds were impressive, but equally impressive was the willingness to to hear and to potentially fund their ideas. Feels very gratifying um, to have people take me seriously. The resources are available for me to do so. Um, all that's stopping me is the limits of myself and my team. Something for us to remember the next time we dismiss the ideas of those we think are too inexperienced, we may be dismissing the next life-saving idea for goodness sake. I'm Bill Anderson.